Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be flying with Jet 2 on an Airbus A330 which is operated by world to fly So without further ado, let's get into it. Now just for a bit of context, we just arrived from Dusseldorf on board a Condor Boeing 757 and all there was to do was find our gate. However, my phone and camera were both dead at the time so I didn't have time to record any of it. But I can say the transit was stress free and there are lots of shops in Palmer Airport which you can eat from, which I took advantage of. Then we went straight to our gate and here is our A330 arriving for today's flight. So as for the aircraft on today's flight, it is 13 years old and registered CSWFP and is operated by Portuguese charter airline World to Fly who jet to are leasing it off for the summer. It will be going back to them around the end of August. So it's absolutely brilliant to get on this aircraft before it's too late. It also happens to be my first ever time on a wide body aircraft. So I'm so excited to try this flight and it's gonna be a really interesting experience for me. Then as soon as the aircraft had deboarded all its inbound passengers, we were called for boarding. The aircraft is configured in the usual long haul aircraft format, a 242 configuration. So without further ado, please enjoy this fairly heavy departure out of Palma de Mallorca on board this Jet 2 slash world to fly Airbus A330. Today's flight route will take us west out of Mallorca, over parts of Catalonia and western France, before heading into UK airspace and landing in Manchester, with a flight time of 2 hours and 8 minutes. Mm -hmm. 
Jet2 were kind enough to offer this voucher out to every passenger on today's flight to get 20% off all duty free. And for today's in-flight snack, I opted for a twirl and a Pepsi. Then, over southern France, we ensued a little bit of turbulence, but nothing out of the ordinary. Then this happened. During the duty free service, a cabin crew member came up to me and said he recognised me from one of my videos. It was really nice to have a conversation with him. Then, towards the end of the flight, he came back up to me with this card, which was just absolutely amazing. It's so good to see how Jet2 treat their passengers, and it's why they're one of my favourite airlines, if not my favourite. <laughs> Then after a thoroughly enjoyable flight, we started our descent back into a fairly cloudy Manchester. So without further ado, please enjoy this approach and arrival into Manchester. We then landed back in Manchester and were greeted by some friendly spotters at the runway visitor park. So, for my final thoughts on this flight, 
It was an amazing flight as per usual with Jet 2 and it was absolutely amazing to get on my first ever wide body aircraft. It's definitely a flight I won't be forgetting in a hurry. But it wasn't all over just yet as a visit to the cockpit was in due course. There is no problem. I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> Still, you know, might not get the plane back in the right way, but yeah. uh, that's a matter. I'm going to be sleeping, so yeah, that's fine. Sleep, yeah. Tomorrow we go to Faro, and very, very early in the morning. Is that you for the day now? Yeah. 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 Finished. Go yeah. on back. What does this weigh? Fully loaded. How? Uh, uh, Two hundred and thirty-three tons. This one. And the 350 to 72. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's physics, isn't yeah. it? It's physics. How it can fly. Yeah. Waiting so much. Yeah. So, this is now the final trip report of my amazing summer trip. So, I hope you've all enjoyed them, and this one especially. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>